Ladies and gentlemen, imagine this. You're sitting in your favorite deer stand. The sun is starting to set behind the trees and you can feel that tension building as you're waiting for that buck you've been after all year to step in one of your perfectly trimmed shooting lanes. And then you hear the coyotes. Lots and lots of coyotes. It can be a terrifying sound, especially if you're walking through the woods in the dark and you forgot your flashlight. Controlling predator populations on your hunting property is vital for having good deer and turkey hunting. Coyote hunting is just one side of that coin though, and if you're a newcomer to coyote hunting, it is very easy to screw up your hunt. In this video, we are going over seven common mistakes that rookie coyote hunters make. The first rookie coyote hunting mistake is kind of an obvious one. You're hunting where there are no coyotes. You spend a lot of time and effort scouting for deer. For some people, that starts even in the shed season. But for coyotes, you kind of scout by accident. You either catch them on your game cameras when you're looking for deer, or you see them from the stand. Newbie coyote hunters might get to a particular spot and think, ah, this will do. And you never know, sometimes that might work. But I prefer not to leave my hunts to luck. For me personally, I've found that hay fields have been pretty consistent places to find coyotes. But things could be different in your area. Take the time to do some scouting beforehand and that could help improve your odds the next time you set up. The second rookie mistake is you're using the wrong calls. It may seem like calling in coyotes is as easy as buying a call, setting it to a wounded rabbit, but there's a little bit more to it than that. For rookies, I recommend buying some kind of an electronic caller. You get lots of options on them and you can be sure that the sounds coming out of them are right. Price can be kind of a barrier to a newbie, but you can find used ones on Facebook groups or Craigslist, so start there. The third rookie mistake is that you're not seeing them, or more specifically, they're seeing you first. Coyote hunting in thick cover is not a good setup. Field edges are the best, um, someplace where you've got at least 50 yards of visibility. If you're hunting with a friend, try setting up in such a way that gives you both a wider angle of view without having to move too much. Also, don't set your decoy and your collar up too close to you. Those coyotes are going to key in on that decoy and they're just going to pick you out real easily. Train yourself to watch for movement. As deer hunters, you should be already decent at this, but this is on a much smaller scale. Older coyotes will often get hung up on tree lines or field edges, so you need to be able to key in on that subtle movement. Sometimes it helps to have one of your buddies as a designated spotter. The fourth way you are screwing the coyote hunting pooch is you're calling too much or too little. Unfortunately, this is a problem that only experience can fix. Calling too loudly or too aggressively can scare off a wary coyote, but calling too little or too quietly runs the risk of not piquing that coyote's interest. The trick is to try to find that comfortable middle ground. I try to err on the side of caution by calling a little slower at first and working my way up if I'm not seeing anything yet. Your calling strategies depend on your setups as well. If you're in a big open field, those louder, longer calls are going to be your best bet. But if you're in a smaller field, you're in the woods, those softer, more spaced out calling sequences are better. Start off on the lower end, work your way up if after a while you're not getting any action. As you start to get more experience, you're going to be able to gain that, that feel for what certain situations require for your calling sequences. The fifth rookie hunting mistake is you are ruining your hunting spot before you even get there. You have to treat your coyote hunting setups like your deer hunting setups. Everything from the noise you make at the truck to the way you approach your target setup matters. You have to pay attention to the wind. Do you have good visibility? Are they gonna be able to spot you from a mile away? Do you have to walk through a wide open field just to get there? These are the things you have to consider when trying to figure out where to set up. Here's what I do. If I pick a spot and I think, it'll do, then it's probably not gonna be a good spot. You have to pick a spot that you feel is going to be effective, a spot that gives you the best chance for success. Coyote senses are already far superior to our own. They can smell better, they can hear better, they can, they can see better. You are in their world now, so you have to consider all these small details to try to even that playing field. The sixth mistake rookie hunters make is they just don't have enough places to hunt. If you only hunt one piece of land, chances are you're going to burn that place out pretty quick. Uh, the good news is, is that landowners are pretty open to letting you come and hunt coyotes on their land. It's not like deer hunting where they, they hoard that all to themselves, rightfully so. Uh, as soon as you say coyote hunting, they're like, yeah, come on. I was surprised how easily you could get permission to coyote hunt on somebody's land. 
Um, I was in a tournament last year, and we were able to hunt half a dozen other places just by simply going up and knocking on the door. Half the time, they even told us where they seen a bunch of coyotes, and it helped tremendously. Uh, we didn't win, but it's not because we didn't have plenty of places to hunt. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is they can say no, and then you just go on to the next one. And the last mistake that rookie hunters make is they give up too soon. A general rule is to sit a minimum of 30 minutes, unless the weather is less than ideal. You know, if it's snowy, if it's pretty windy or rainy, then you want to sit longer, but sit at least 30 minutes. You have to give your set enough time to work. If you're only sitting 10 or 15 minutes, you are probably missing out on a lot of coyote action. Like every other game hunting out there, you have to have patience. If you're new to coyote hunting, chances are you've committed at least one of these very common rookie mistakes. Don't worry about it too much though. Just keep getting after it. Try different things and, and gain some experience. And you can be sure that you'll be knocking down coyotes in no time. So if you like this video, hit that like button and comment down below if you've got any tips for new coyote hunters. It can be kind of intimidating getting into a new type of hunting. And if we can leave a whole bunch of tips for newbies in one place, the better. That way you're not searching all different places trying to, trying to gather everything. And as always, outdoor ladies and gentlemen, stay informed.